Good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. And welcome to another... Oh, I wanted to do dry shampoo first. Welcome to another vlog episode. If you're new here, then welcome to the channel. And if you're not, then thank you for coming back and watching another one of my videos. Um, I am getting ready. It's around 6.45. And I've been kind of waking up a little bit earlier this week just to kind of give myself a little bit of extra time. I tried to prepare my, by the way, I'm going shooting with Sammy in Soho and I've been trying to get up earlier to plan my outfits and just to kind of not rush in the morning and it has been lovely because I've been shooting for the past two days. So I met Avery yesterday and then on Monday I met with Bella. So I've been doing less outfits and just going like more frequently. And honestly, it's like, making me more energized and ready to start my nine to five job. And I haven't realized this until now because I was telling my boyfriend that I've probably had the most two, I've had the two most productive days at work probably since I started. And he was suggesting that maybe it's because I'm, you know, getting up early and getting my day started. So that could definitely be it. So I did go to a Cezanne event last night with Avery. So we shot in the morning and then we went to the Cezanne event and it was so lovely. They had the most beautiful decorations and it was just a really nice way to like kind of start off the season because that was the first kind of like Christmassy event that we went to. And yeah, we got to take home a beanie and a scarf, which I am actually going to be wearing today because it is 33 degrees out. So I'm dreading that, but I'm just gonna bundle up and probably wear a puffer jacket over my outfit because I think it's only supposed to be 33 today in general or I think it's 26 right now and it's supposed to be a high of 33 so we are in the dead of winter in New York um, and I need to dress accordingly did I just curl this piece? I think I did um, but my hair is super greasy and I am throwing some curls in it because I am going to be wearing a beanie in the outfits for today so I have the tan one that I got last night spoiler and then I have my black one so I'm gonna just do two separate outfits with the beanie and we're gonna call it a day because I didn't want to do a slick bun for some reason I think it's because it's so cold out that I didn't want my ears to be out and not have a hat on so we're gonna just incorporate the functionality of the beanie into our outfits so I am gonna leave here in about 20 minutes and I'll show you guys what I end up wearing, but oh my gosh, I'm dropping things all over the place. But I have already done my makeup and then I had my curling iron heat up while I was doing my makeup. So we're just chugging along here. So in this vlog, I have a ton to show you guys. I potentially will have more Christmas decorations by the time I pick up the vlog on Friday um, because we're trying to get all decorated. I want to get the tree. So I think all that is going to happen in this video and I'm super excited for that. So stay tuned for some Christmas cheer, but I think this is as good as my hair is going to get. So I'm going to go get dressed. I am bundled up to the nines right now and I put on the lamp over there so you can kind of see the outfit a little bit better. But this is the first one that I'm going to be wearing. This is the matching tan hat and scarf that I just got from Cezanne and I love the color of it. My first thought was to put it with black. So. I'm wearing this sort of like short cropped jacket that kind of has a little bit of a balloon sleeve but nothing too crazy from the Claire Rose collection on Naked Fashion. This was fully stocked the other day when I picked it up so I'll link that for you guys. And then my jeans are from Madewell. You've probably seen these a million times. I've worn them so much since I got them in I think probably the end of the summer. And then I'm obviously not going to wear slippers. I'm going to wear white like chunky sneakers. And then the next outfit I think is going to be taking the accessories off and then I'll throw on a black coat over the top of all of this and maybe a green scarf instead with a black beanie or I might just switch out my black beanie and still wear the tan scarf and just do all black otherwise but that is still to be determined I have about eight minutes before I have to leave but that also gives me a little bit of cushion just in case the subway is late but I'm gonna pack my bag and we're gonna brave the cold Sam is here we're gonna do our outfits Good morning. Good morning. Love this coat. You look so snuggly. Yeah, I am. Which is necessary for today. <laughs> okay, just to 
random clip, Avery and I just shot, and it's Thursday. Not my <laughs> Vlogging on our phones. Oh my gosh. And there's a nest little archway thing that smells incredible. It's like right next to, you can't see the Dior store because this obnoxious apple cube is blocking it, but that is the Dior display. And yeah, there's Bergdorf's. I feel like we're going on a world tour. <laughs> yeah, Bergdorf's is doing like a blue icy theme, I guess, on this one side. Um, that's the Plaza Hotel. Yeah, we're really doing it today. <laughs> Tourism. <laughs> Ever, ooh. <laughs> I just don't like my voice does not go that high. I don't know why I'm trying to do that. Okay, I'm not gonna like intro the vlog saying that we're not doing vlogmas. That's not nice. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to another vlog episode. I hope you guys are all doing it super well. I am hoping that this is not the first time that I am talking to you guys because I've been filming all this week. So I can't remember. I think most of the clips are on my phone because I was kind of running around a little bit and I had a bunch of different things going on and work obviously. And so I felt like I was forgetting my camera a lot, but we did have a lot already going on in this vlog. I went to Cezanne for a store visit on Tuesday. They had a very nice holiday event going on there. So they had a hot chocolate stand and they just had the whole store decorated for this festive period, which was beautiful. And we also got to meet one of the um, girls that we work with and she came over from Paris, which was amazing. And it was so nice to finally meet her. I'm actually wearing a Cezanne sweater right now. I cannot get enough of their knitwear. It's gotten a little bit out of control, but they just have really nice quality pieces. And of course I love that they are French and they have that sort of like French influence for someone like me who lives in New York City. Um, so that was lovely, and then I think I was shooting, oh yes, yesterday Avery and I were shooting a collab that we have together, which I wanna try on the coats with you guys that are going to be in or featured in this post because they're stunning and I feel like the price point is really nice, so I will show you guys those. One of them was included in a Zara and H&M haul, but I wanna show you guys the other ones too. Um, so we did that yesterday, and then we also got our Christmas tree. So. PSA for anyone living in New York City, Whole Foods, if they do sell trees, have them for $70 and you can get any size for $70. So I did add in a clip, I think, from yesterday where we did have our tree. Hi. Am I able to use your Mac? I don't know if I have mine. Yeah, I think it's in the... Wait, where did I put it? It's on your net stand. Where's your uh, charger? So funny you ask, I have it right here for you. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Paula just needed a charger, but he actually carried our tree home from Whole Foods and it was $70. So last year, for comparison reasons, I got a tree that was, I think, four feet tall and it was $130. And I'm the type of person that loves Christmas season and I love Christmas decorating and all that stuff. And I don't know, like something just wasn't clicking in my brain that we shouldn't be spending $130 on a tree. I don't even do that like in New Jersey for like a huge tree. And I bought it anyway, but now I know that Whole Foods has the trees and we will no longer have to pay astronomical prices. But one thing I would mention is just to make sure that you like call or something and see if they have Christmas trees because not every location of Whole Foods has them in stock or like, have, like sells them in general. Um, before I put this down, we went to Variety this morning, so I think I got a couple of clips there. And I think that's pretty much everything that I needed to fill you guys in on. But we are having a nice little day today. We had a coffee run, we got bagels. I'm actually kind of nauseous, and I feel like it's because I had a little bit of coffee first, and then I ate half of a bagel, and I like inhaled the bagel, and I feel like my stomach was not prepared for that. So, um, but yeah, we had a nice little walk this morning to go and get those two things. And then we are meeting my sister and her boyfriend later 
to go and kind of have like a little bit of a Christmassy day. So there are some like bars and restaurants in New York that do Christmas decor. I'm sure most of you have probably heard of Rolf's, but that one is most likely going to be impossible to get into. So we're gonna try there first. And if we can't, we're gonna go to Pete's Tavern and hopefully we can get in there. So lots of fun things going on today. I think I already mentioned that I filmed the Zara at H&M Hall. I cleaned our room. I cleaned the living room as well because that was a little bit of a disaster. Um, but I think the other thing I want to film is like a Coats haul specifically from a bunch of different brands that I've been getting in because we have some really great ones and I feel like I need to tell you guys about them. So that's probably one more thing that I'm going to film. The room is not in a state for me to be filming the room tour that I wanted to film. I think it's been two weeks now that I've been wanting to film this, but it's just a little bit chaotic now. I have so much stuff that needs to go on Poshmark that I have to take photos of and so hopefully I can get that done as well um and then we meet my sister at 2 p.m so it's already 12 30 so i mean honestly i should start getting ready because i don't think i was gonna go with my slick bun i was gonna like wash my hair and do the whole thing but honestly i feel like this looks fine i'm just it's like i have no one to impress <laughs> um but speaking of getting ready i do have this lip combo that i got a couple days ago i'm gonna zoom you guys in just a little bit oh that is a lot that might be like too much, but I need you guys to like be able to see the lip combo. So um, lip liner, I did Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm almost done with this. Uh, actually, I think this was a mini size, so I shouldn't say that. Um, but this was usually too pink for me to use with the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick, and it made it look too pink on me. But now that I'm getting pale, I wanted to switch back to that. And then I found this rose ink lip color the other day and this is in the shade intuitive which i think i linked the wrong one the other day but it's in this really nice like ro not rosy but it's more of a pink color but obviously like on me it doesn't come out to be super pink it's more of a nudie pink with my undertones but i just throw this over the top of that lip liner Sorry, I just think that this is so creepy that I'm talking to you guys and you can't see my face. And then over the top of that, because it's matte, but it's less matte than the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks, which I actually really like. But over the top, I just like to have a little bit of gloss. And this is the Fenty Beauty in the shade Fussy. And I don't get the plumper, I just get like the regular Fenty Beauty gloss. And this is what it looks like. I was creeping myself out with that angle. So um, yeah, this is what the lip color looks like. I feel like I could have done this from this far away angle and not had any and not had any issues, but um, oh well. I <laughs> am going to start getting everything put away and hopefully I can try on the coats with you guys before I leave just because that's something that I feel like I haven't been doing in my vlogs lately is like trying things on with you and like doing little fashion things here and there. And I think it's because I've been doing haul videos, but we're gonna do that instead. So I'm gonna get all set up for that. Okay, you guys, we're in the car and I don't think I can prop you up. Oh, maybe that's gonna work. Um, we are in the car. I'm in New Jersey and it's been a while since I talked to you guys. I think, so today's Sunday. The last time I spoke to you was when I was saying we were going to try on the Avec La Feel coats together, but I ended up, I think I told you that I was feeling nauseous and I ended up being sick all day. I was not feeling well. I was very ill <laughs> and I was like in and out sleeping all day. I had body aches, I had some nausea, but I think it was a 24 hour thing because I ended up going to sleep. I couldn't go to my boyfriend's friend's DJ thing, which I was very sad about because I really wanted to see it. But um, I ended up going to sleep at like nine and then woke up at eight this morning and I felt completely fine. And so we're back and I'm in New Jersey because Paulie's getting his wisdom teeth out tomorrow. And I wanted to just like be there after his surgery and stuff. So. Um, obviously that's like a normal procedure. It's nothing crazy, but that's on Monday. So tomorrow we have that and today we're going around and we are going Christmas decor shopping and I'm so excited because we do have a TJ Maxx in the city. Oh, my mom's here. 
okay. <laughs> um, we have a TJ Maxx in the city, but it's not nearly as good as all of the stock that they can house in the suburbs. So let's go get some really cute decorations. I don't have much. I only have the garland and the wreath. So that's only one thing inside the... <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> okay, I feel bad because it's raining. So I will show you guys what I get when we come back. I really like all of these, but they're in like summery planters. They don't look Christmassy at all, so we're gonna skip on those. And I like this dark brown one, but there are like pebbles in it, which I feel like makes it look summery. Good morning, guys. Happy Monday. I am currently parked in my driveway at home, trying to get a little bit of makeup on because I just want to, you know, feel something. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It's the beginning of the week and I usually like to just feel a little bit more put together. So I'm doing like a five minute makeup in the car because I didn't want to vlog in the house and wake my mom up. Um, my dad goes to work super early, but my mom sleeps in until about like eight ish and it's a little after seven right now. But I'm really just going to get a coffee and then I'm going to start work pretty early for the day usually i don't know why but i think it's like the suburban energy i usually just like sleep in until i have to sign on for work at like 8 30 when i'm here at home and today instead i'm gonna get started earlier because i really just want to clear my inbox in the first half of the day and so that when i run my errands during my lunch i won't feel like stressed that i have a ton to do but basically i have to go to the post office and ship out some poshmark orders some of the things were at home so i needed to send them from here so i'm gonna do that and then i also want to try to get my camera fixed so i think the store it should be open on a monday they're definitely not open on sundays but i really want to see what their verdict is on the camera whether that's just to get the lens protector taken off and just not have one because I think part of it did get dented and I just like don't really want to pay to replace the entire lens because I think if I'm not mistaken the whole like cost of the camera is usually due to the cost of the lens because that's kind of what does the entire part of um, photography is like the lens and, and all of the capabilities are inside of the lens and that's why people will keep the base but they'll buy different lenses based on like their needs and everything like that so I'm hoping that they can just get the protector off and if they can't get a new one on then I am just going to have to be like 12 times more careful with my camera I mean it was an accident I was taking it off of the tripod and I thought it had more to like screw off before it came off and it just didn't so um, that's what happened there and it was like super devastating. I was like in a terrible mood for a couple hours afterwards just because I was like being hard on myself for not like taking care of it, but it was like a true accident. So I just want to see if I can go get that fixed and hopefully they can do something with it. Um, and then, so we have post office, camera, and then I probably won't be able to make it to home since. I do have to show you guys the Christmas decorations that I got yesterday but the daylight flew after we came home so i have to come back at some point and show you guys the stuff because we got some really cute things but i really wanted to go to home sense because i didn't get like decoration things i didn't have a bunch of that stuff i got like one thing everything else is kind of like pretty little details to have or like candles that count as decor and like things like that sorry you guys can't see my face i'm hiding behind the steering wheel um but yeah so i got little things like that and i'm excited to put those around the apartment but i really only got one thing that's like usable over a few years just because everything else is like a candle that you can burn um and i wanted to get like a nutcracker and like little things like that but also i'm trying to pump the brakes because i went downstairs into my parents basement and the christmas decorations are out of control and I know it's because it accumulates over years and years. Like my, obviously like my oldest sister is 30 years old and my parents have been married for like 32 years. So we have like 32 years worth of stuff in our basement. And so I'm just trying to like 
be very selective and only buy things if I love it, even though I do want the entire apartment to be filled with Christmas stuff. It's just not too practical. And also I don't want to have to move it when we move next year. So we're just trying to like get little things of Christmas cheer. But honestly, I think the candles are better because I'll maybe burn them and then not have to pack them and slash take them to a new place. So that's where I'm at with the Christmas decorations, but I hope I get to go there later. And then I also hope to have a an orthodontist appointment because I'm trying to get my teeth fixed before my sister's wedding in March. It's like the beginning of March. And basically my front teeth are sticking out a little bit too much. Like when I first got my braces off, everything was all in line and it was flush. And now like if I smile, I kind of have a shadow on either side of these front teeth because they're a little bit farther out. And I do wear my retainers, probably not as much as I should, but they definitely do need to be adjusted. And I went probably, I think it was like a year ago that I went last time to get them adjusted for this exact same reason. And it, we did a small tweak and he was like, okay, I'm gonna do the small one. If it's not enough, just come back. And I like didn't come back for a year. So I'm gonna let him know that it takes a lot for me to get here is just because I don't organize myself enough and I always forget my retainers when I come home. So hopefully I can like get a cancellation for today because it's like starting to actually bother me and I feel like I'm not smiling as much as I, not smiling as much, but I feel like in photos and stuff, I'm so conscious of it that I am like, I don't know. It's just me being like super over, um, critical of myself but I do want to get that fixed so I'm gonna call them when they open anyway that's the plan for today I feel like that's kind of a lot but we also have to work so I'm gonna go and grab my coffee we're gonna get it roasted and yeah I'll do a taste test with you guys because I have no idea what I'm gonna be getting I don't know why I got a coffee the size of my head but they said small or large and I was like oh it's Monday let's get a large but um small confession before I do a taste test I went and drove my boyfriend home last night after he had dinner with us and I brought my wallet into the car because you do need a license to drive and this morning I cannot find my wallet anywhere and I was like oh I probably just left it in the car so I come in here and my wallet's not in here which I just noticed because I was gonna pay with my card to get my coffee thank god I had cash on me like randomly um, and I didn't have my wallet. I walk into the coffee shop. There's four cops just like chilling, having their coffee. And I was like, you have to be kidding me right now. Like, I mean, I'm only like a three minute drive away from my house. It's like not the biggest deal. Um, but I'm like fully just admitting to everybody that I'm not driving, that I'm driving without my license when that's like absolutely necessary. Wow, this is really good. Okay, so sugar cookie latte. I last time I came here I got a maple latte and two days ago when I was sick I had a maple latte so I also realized that I don't really like a maple latte so I think we're gonna stop getting those and on top of the fact that I got sick not saying that it was from that latte because I've had a uh, variety coffee before and it was completely fine but I think just like we need to have a break from that flavor so I got the sugar cookie one just because it sounded amazing and it kind of tastes like a combination of like hazelnut and vanilla which if that's what it is I love both of those things but um, it's a good thing I like it because I got a ginormous one um, anyway we're gonna head home now it's 732 and I'm gonna get signed on for work because we have a lot to do before I need to run my errands later but I will chat to you guys when I grab all the things that I got from home goods yesterday It is finally time in this vlog for another Christmas unboxing. I know I did one a couple vlogs ago, but I feel like I only had two or three things to show you. And we picked up a few additional things. I also forgot about our tree skirt that my mom had ordered for us. So I'm gonna show you guys everything now. And then I also have a couple of things too that were in my apartment and I had no idea where they went, and now I just rediscovered them in a box in my closet upstairs. So we have those two that I'm gonna show you guys. Um, but our tree skirt is this really nice red velvet quilt, or it's like a quilted velvet material with a white trim on it. I love classic Christmas decor. I'm not really like a, well, I shouldn't say I'm a sparkly, like white and snowy kind of girl, I love, the red and green even though some of the things i do have are sparkle but i love to stick to the classic colors i really like traditional 
Christmas decor and so this is probably the only time that you'll see color in the apartment. So this is going to be our tree skirt. Um, Polly was worried because it's actually huge, but when you get a tree that is, I think our tree is like seven or eight feet by accident, you just kind of need a tree skirt to balance it out. I didn't want to have a tiny tree skirt and then have a huge tree, but also for the fact of like, this is going to be our tree skirt for as long as it stays nice. So I figured we would definitely go for a size that would accommodate a larger tree just because like for having a house one day and all that kind of stuff. Um, so I got that from Pottery Barn. I can link that for you because it's like available online normally. And then another thing I just wanted to show you guys quickly was this Winter Forest set from William Sonoma. And it's hand soap, dish soap, and countertop spray. And this is the best winter pine smell that I've ever encountered. We also have a candle from them. So I'm going to link this set just because it's a really good, like if you're going to someone's house for a holiday party or something like that, instead of bringing a candle, this is something a little bit different. And it just brings that nice wintry scent into the home, especially since this is more of like, I like to call this a winter scent. It's not a Christmas scent. So the pine needle scent, I feel like can last all the way into February until we go into spring and start having more floral candles or whatever people might like. And then I think this is also a pretty generic winter scent that most people like because I know sometimes it's subjective. Um, one other thing that I got from Home Goods was I wanted to get these wine bags because we are going to be going to a couple of our friends' apartments over the next couple of weeks and I wanted to bring a bottle of wine. So my mom gave me this because she already had them at home instead of buying them at the store. And then the rest of the things that I got from Home Goods, we have this candle set. And they are real wax, but the flame is artificial. So it comes with a remote control that's actually on the counter, and I cannot forget to take that because then these won't work. But they're a set of three, and they have three different sizes, which I was trying to do that with some of the other candles that you'll see in a second. But I just couldn't find ones that made sense or like waxes that were the same color. I know that's weird, but it was super convenient to have this all in one set. So I'm just going to put like the three of them on the side table of our couch and just have them flickering. They look really nice. They're pretty yellow, I would say, but not to the point where it would annoy me. So I think it'll be nice to have a little, you know, cozy lighting display. And then what else did we get? Oh, I really wanted candlesticks for our kitchen table. And I was trying to find green ones or red ones just to, again, bring in some color because we normally don't have it in the apartment, but all of them were like that twisted wax and I feel like that's a huge thing right now, but it's not really my style. I just like a classic candlestick and they did have some white ones that were classic, but I wanted something a little bit more Christmassy because I can do white candlesticks anytime. But when I was online, you know when you're online in one of these stores and they just have all of the things lined up just in case you want to buy any last minute stuff that you don't need. I saw these and was so grateful that they were online because they're just a white candlestick, but then they have this gold sparkly tree on it. And I feel like the glitter, because it's such a small design is okay, but I'm obviously always trying to be conscious of not buying things that are too feminine because I do live with a boy. <laughs> but I thought those would be super cute and I'll just keep them in little candlesticks. And then if we have people over, which we plan to host um, my sisters and their boyfriends, we can just burn these for that occasion and then obviously get new ones next year. But I didn't want to go crazy and buy too many. The next thing that we have going along with the candles is a bark. Oh my gosh, there's like dust coming off of this. But I forget, but it does smell like something. It actually smells pretty good. Um, but this is a little birch candle and it just kind of looks like a tree branch and then it's a normal wax candle. But I wanted to make a display with that one. And then we have this sort of white company dupe candle and it has these little Christmassy kind of winter woodland bits all baked inside of the candle, which I love and I love when people get the white company one, but I think that one is pretty expensive. And to be honest, I don't really know if I'm going to burn this. I kind of like it as decor. I'm going to take the ribbon off, but I wanted to put these two together. So we have a taller one and then one that's a little bit shorter and wider. And then with that, I have this little tree. So they had two of, we went to two home goods yesterday. And by the way, I forgot to mention, we went to two home goods and we were gone for three hours. <laughs> I was looking through every single 
candle, display, tree, wreath, even though we have a wreath already. Like I just was kind of in heaven and I wanted to look through everything. And so we were there for a really long time, but the first location had these trees and they had a few of them, but I actually don't remember what size they were. I think they're in the video though. I, I took a clip of them. But when we went to the second one, I was like, oh, I think I actually kind of like that. I love that it has this red velvet material around the base of it. A lot of them had, oh my gosh, this is making me look super pale. A lot of them had like the burlap covering it and I'm not really like a farmhouse kind of girly. So I was happy to see that they had ones that had velvet. And when I was there, I was like, you know what? I might as well pick this up. I'm going to look like an absolute buffoon carrying this through New York City on my way home, but I don't really care. And if someone has a problem with it, then they're just being a Scrooge. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but yeah, so we're going to have this on the entryway table with the two candles and then possibly this little diffuser. Either that or I'm going to do the tree separately with the three light candles. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get into the space and depending on how much space I have in the different areas, we'll plan the stuff accordingly. But I also got this little wintry diffuser and I'm realizing the bottle doesn't have packaging, which I kind of wish it had like a Christmassy label or something on it, but it's just plain, which is, I think it's fine because if I'm putting it with this candle, we already have some greenery and color and all that stuff. So this smells amazing it's called winter berries i don't even know what oh it's just called holiday i don't know but it smells like a little bit spicy a little bit obviously like berries but it's a really nice wintry scent that's different than the pine needle scent which i usually am only selective toward the pine needle scents but i feel like that would be a nice different one to have and then the last thing i got from home goods which is not even I don't know, this is not even um, relevant, but I picked this up because I loved the color of the glassware. And I know that H&M does some amber glass like this, but this is going to be for display on a normal day, like outside of the holiday period. But I loved this container so much. It's called Centaur Vanilla, and it's made by M of WG. So if you guys can find that, then definitely pick it up because Polly smelled it yesterday and he was like, it smells like that perfume that all the girls wear. And I was like, what is he talking about? It smells like Le Labo. And I don't know if it's gonna burn as strong as Le Labo, but honestly, the Le Labo candles can be pretty overwhelming. Like I haven't lit ours yet and it still like puts fragrance into the room, which I love because that means I don't have to burn the expensive candle, but this is $10. So if I can find this brand online, I will definitely link it for you. I don't know if they sell it on um, Amazon or something, but I almost want to go and get another one because look how pretty that is. And I like adding small dark elements to our space so that it doesn't look too neutral. And I feel like that's a really good way to do that. And now we're going to move on to the things that I got from last year. First of all, these are our measuring cups that I forgot to bring when I moved, which we've also been needing. Um, so I don't know if you guys remember, but last year I went to H&M and I bought a million of these little red bows. So unnecessary but I feel like I'm probably going to decorate this tree and just put a little bow at the top of it because it matches the red velvet base and I think that's gonna look really cute. But then you can also put some of these on the tree. I've been seeing a lot of people do that recently and we're trying again to not make it look too girly so I don't know if I'm gonna put too many of them but I bought like 20 of these. <laughs> I think I bought like 20 of these last year and I was feeling guilty about it. My mom was like, there's nothing wrong with that. You don't know that they're gonna have them next year. So I'm gonna look and see if H&M has them, but if not, then I will find something similar. I'm sure they just have red velvet bows somewhere that um, I can link for you. And then another thing we have that we have at home is a foot tapper cord. So basically this is just a little tapper button. So you hook this up to your lights and that way you could just press the button instead of having to plug and unplug the lights, which is super convenient. And then I just have a little ornament I think this is from, I want to say this is from either Rhode Island or Vermont. And it doesn't say on here. I wish it did because it just came in this little paper bag. But anytime I go into like a mountain country store, I don't really know how to describe it. I always want to get an ornament and I loved this Rudolph. Again, he's just super classic and just like a normal traditional um, 
I guess, symbol of Christmas and thought he was gonna be really cute. So I need to put him with the rest of my ornaments, which I wish I knew where those were in my apartment. And then the last thing that I have is a pickle. So the Christmas pickle, I forget which country does this. I, I don't know if it's Poland. I am Polish, so I should know that. Anyway, um, so we do this every year in my house. Basically, we all open our presents and then my parents hide the pickle. I'm 27 years going on 28 years old and my sister's 30 and we still, <laughs> we still do this. My parents just make it a little bit more difficult for us every year, but basically they will go around the house and hang the pickle somewhere or like hide it somewhere in the house, which it's been like very difficult. They're actually really good at hiding it. And whoever finds it gets an extra prize. And I think I won last year, so subtle brag there. But it's just a really nice tradition I have in my family. So we're gonna put that on the tree with the rest of our ornaments. And that's everything that I have. So I'm sitting here in a pile of Christmas stuff. And I just talked to you guys for like 13 minutes, for like 10 minutes about all of the things that I got. So I'm really excited to go back to the apartment today and get all the stuff set up depending on how late I go back. Um, but in the next vlog, I am gonna show you guys how I styled everything. So I do wanna do an entire video of all of my Christmas decor. That being said, I do actually need to get more stuff from HomeSense. I just wanna get like one, like I don't wanna call it a figurine because I feel like that sounds a little like creepy, but I wanna get like one nutcracker or like Santa Claus or something like that to put in the apartment and that's really all I need and then I'm done. Um, so we'll see if I can find that today and then I'll film that video this week because I wanna do like a Christmas decor tour of the apartment and then probably after that, as long as we get our bar cabinet, I wanna do our actual apartment tour because We've been in this apartment for three months now, and every single time I move into a new place, it takes me forever to film our apartment tour, but it's really just because we need one more piece of furniture, so maybe I'll look for that today and try to just get that done because I'm getting kind of annoyed <laughs> that I haven't filmed that for you guys yet because it's something that I love to watch, and I don't know, I'm just kind of nosy and I love seeing people's spaces, and it's really good inspo for decorating, and. We tried to keep everything pretty reasonable in terms of cost. So if you guys are looking for inspiration but you don't wanna break the bank, then I think it'll be a good source for you guys as well. Um, but I'm gonna end this video off here because for the rest of the day, I'm just going to the post office and then I checked and the camera store is open today, thank God, because I need to see if they can get the lens protector off of my camera. But um, those are the only two things I have left and then I'm gonna visit my boyfriend after his um, tooth surgery, I don't know what to call it. I don't know, wisdom teeth extraction. <laughs> and then I'm gonna head back to the city. So I am going to pick up the vlog again later this week. Hopefully I can get this video up for you guys pretty soon so that I can crank out a probably, I'm trying to do two videos a week instead of one, which is crazy because I used to do two videos a week normally, but now that it's Vlogmas, I'm trying to change from one video to two, so please be patient with me, but I am trying my best to get everything up super quickly so that you guys have a little bit more to watch this season. So thank you all so much for watching this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you in my YouTube family. And yeah, I will see you all in my next video.